Why, why can't we do this the old-fashioned way? Uh, Congress and the president get together and say, we're going to have a balanced budget. I mean, we did do it in the late 90s and early 2000s. It is possible. Why can't we do that today? Well, because it, it has never happened, number one. So even Thomas Jefferson, after the original Constitution was drafted, he said, if there was one thing I could draft in the Constitution through an amendment, it would be a balanced budget. It's really important to the nation. Congress and the president will not get this done. Again, we see the inability the, for them the late to 90s work together. Were evidence that it could be done? No, it, it was not done in the late 90s. Um, there was, there were, there have been five years since 1952 where the the budget on an annual basis actually revenues exceeded mm -hmm. expenditures. That's only five years in in 60, 70 years. So no, I, I don't see it. And let's say they get it right for one year. Th that's just the deficit. The amount of debt right. we've racked up in the trillions, that's what, that's what concerns me. And there's no plan even proposed on how to start attacking our debt, much less the deficit, which is an annual basis. And, and are you optimistic this will actually happen? We will have a constitutional convention at some point? I'm, I am more optimistic based on how politics are going nationally, if we look at the Trump effect, mm -hmm. plus the, the, um, the state-level politics that are happening right now with, with the swing in the state powers. I don't think we've ever had as good of a chance as we have right now. Senator Chris Kapinga from Delafield, who is the sponsor of this uh, resolution, would like to see a constitutional convention held. Thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you.